My name is Andrew Birch, and I'm the co-curator of the War and Medicine exhibition at the Canadian War Museum. Some of the most deadly injuries in war are those to the torso, the chest, the abdomen, and the spine. During the First World War, most soldiers who suffered these types of injuries died before they could reach hospital. Body armor was not widely available, and what was tended to be bulky, very heavy, and not very effective. It was not until the Cold War that modern armed forces gained ready access to body armor that worked. The body armor that Canadians wear when deployed to combat zones like Afghanistan is fairly effective. It protects the vital organs from injury. But the arms and legs remain very vulnerable, especially to weapons such as landmines or hidden improvised explosive devices that have caused the majority of Canada's casualties in Afghanistan since 2006. These boots belong to Sergeant Sheldon Herrett, a reservist based in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. In 2007, Herrett deployed to Afghanistan and worked in the dangerous job leading a section of engineers. One day, he was called to a strip of road where a Canadian vehicle had hit a mine, and assisted by a bomb-sniffing canine unit, Herrett approached a suspected IED site. The dog went to sniff out explosives, but mistakenly set off the trigger. The blast killed the dog instantly and peppered Herrett with over 50 pieces of shrapnel. His legs, arms, and face took small pieces of shrapnel, but his armor vest saved his life. And you can see where one of the pieces entered his boots. Herrett was able to walk back to a Canadian armored vehicle where he received initial treatment from medical technicians accompanying his convoy. He was evacuated back to Kandahar where he underwent two operations at the military field hospital there. He could have been sent home, but he negotiated with doctors to get back to his unit as soon as possible. And after five weeks of recovery, he rejoined his unit in the field. The exhibition War and Medicine has over 300 powerful artifacts like Sergeant Herrett's boots. Ultimately, the exhibition is about the effect of war and medicine on the human experience of war, and every artifact is connected to that human story.